Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, wherever you might be at the moment. Hope you're having an awesome day. Jean here with some more Mars anomalies and artifacts. We're going to be checking out another Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter high-rise photograph. In a video I like to call Derelict Relics, west of Aeonia Mons on Mars. We're analyzing this high-rise photograph called USGS Dune Database Entry Number 2670-522 Changes Acquired on the 2nd of April 2017 and the image scale resolution we'll be using is the 24.9 centimeters per pixel with one-to-one -one binning and as always you're looking at artifacts I downloaded from the JP2 black and white map projected file. There's a crop from the low res black and white giving an indication of what the region of this photograph looks like. We've got a couple of huge dunes and then a relatively smooth flat surface and the anomalies are scattered throughout that region. The MRO took this photograph at 52 degrees 7 minutes south 92 degrees 55 minutes west and it's in this dark patch close to the circular depression rim over there and towards the end of the video as always we'll check out some of the other anomalies and artifacts in the region before we get cracking on we'll quickly have a look at some of the other anomalies and artifacts that are found very close to where this photograph was taken and uh, there we can see this little disc that's about five meters in diameter and uh, we zoom up close we can see it seems to be parked or hovering I don't know above uh, this huge metallic debris or wreckage over here check out that straight line 90 degree angles on either side but parallel lines on top and then obviously this little disc and look at the long narrow protrusion running through the center over there so what could this be some type of little radar outpost could this be a little craft that's hovering there or is that just a wind blown rock or boulder that formed that circular object yeah, we're looking at uh, some of the other craft and circular objects I found. This is from part 3, the discs and ruins of Pyramus Fosse. And we've got that 6 meter diameter disc, two little winglets on either side, and then a dome right there in the center. It's on top of this square area that's been cleaned away. Check it, the sand that's been pushed up to the side over here got 90 degree angles to this uh, base over there guys and girls another little circular object about six meters in diameter a little dome on it and this is from our video and blog post called part two the discs and ruins of pyramus fosse so do check out those and uh, here we go we're looking at the first anomaly i discovered in this high rise photograph very small little object about uh, three by four meters and it's got this little dome like feature on it that's about a meter and a half in diameter and uh, seems to be lodged into the Martian surface of here to the left so could this also be a little craft who knows what these things are guys and girls let me know in the comments below what you make of these perhaps we'll figure out amongst ourselves what we're looking at and uh, yeah we've got another little sphere or dome that's about five meters in diameter and up close get the way the sunlight reflects off the one side and then also towards the left we've got alignment of uh, smaller objects over there this dome or sphere reminds me of two others that I found in my video and blog post called Oddities in Real Valis on Mars. Same diameter, this one here seems to be on top of this rectangular base 
And this one over here doesn't look like a typical meteorite that struck the surface over there. Check out that there. That doesn't look like remains of a, a meteorite after striking the surface. And then also it's in this hollowed out round circular depression over there. Next up we've got what looks like another huge disc partially covered in sand over there in the center of this image and it has a diameter of about 12 meters. Take a closer look we can see what resembles a circular object underneath. The sand and dust over here has the second one also 12 to 14 meters in diameter. If we take a close-up look, check out the perfectly rounded edge and then it's covered on the one side over here with dust and sand. Also on top we've got some smaller objects, so what the heck are we looking at there? There's another one that I featured recently in another massive disc north of Proctor. Also a very, very similar object that. Yeah, we're looking at what I speculate might be a huge megalithic block or slab measuring about 15 by 10 meters. And on it we can see three protrusions or knobs. These two on the outside, same sort of size and shape. And then uh, aligned in a triangle with that smaller narrow one right there and it uh, looks like some geometry and symmetry there. And those alignments remind me of some others. This I discovered in part one, alignments and strange objects found near Euripus Mons on Mars. Another one of these, what I speculate, might be a megalithic slab or block. Check out the alignment of those three smaller knobs or protrusions there. Also same size and almost equal distance between them. And then I wonder if this isn't perhaps uh, some type of metal plate or sheet metal. Straight edges, right angle there. Yeah, we've got what looks like a tombstone. Not that it is, guys and girls. But check it, the alignment of those three smaller items on top in a symmetrical triangle and this is from part two the Sidonian Neolithic artists and builders of Mars it's straight edge over there nice rounded top to that object and then this from part one alignments and strange objects found near Euripus Mons on Mars another one of these circular disc shaped objects and on top of it We've got alignment of smaller items in a circular pattern around what looks like a cone over there. And these objects are all about 10 by 15 meters, so also huge. And that reminds me of the little ank, if I could call it that. Check out this, we've got the little circle there and the cross partially covered in sand to the left. Very interesting. I doubt that's natural. And then uh, the alignments of these knobs or protrusions remind me of that found in Vilacabamba, the lost megalithic city of the Inca, where we've got this huge megalithic block. It's about 10 meters tall. And check out the alignment of these smaller items on this, guys. Next object looks like uh, some type of little ventilation, maybe a hatch, maybe an entranceway, who knows, a wind trap, maybe even a gun emplacement like a pillbox. That measures about 10 by 12 meters. And uh, up close we can see the larger rectangular base with uh, what looks like a narrow opening over there towards the right. 
Let's have a look at some others. This is from part two. Alignments and strange objects found near Euripus Mons. Also got openings over there. So ventilation, wind traps, gun emplacements. Don't know what this is. Almost uh, identical in design and size. Check out this weird piece. That's about 15 meters across. And uh, it's got this rounded side to it. And then rectilinear designs to the one side. And it reminds me of another piece. This is from Return to Asimov's Blocks on Mars in Color. So this rounded object with this rectangular design on the one side. Also similar size and shape. Yeah, we're looking at a long narrow piece, at least 20 meters long and about three meters wide. And uh, if we zoom up close, nice straight edge to it. And uh, we've got like a triangular side over here. Very similar to Two others. This is from part two, the discs and ruins of Pyramus Fosse, also about 20 meters long. And then this one over here from part three, the Sardonian Neolithic artists and builders of Mars. Looks like a little obelisk that's about 12 meters long. Also reminds me of uh, the huge megalithic blocks from Baalbek, Lebanon. This is the Stone of the South and the Second Stone of the South. And we're looking at a length of about 20 meters there, 4 by 4, very similar in size and shape and design as we find on Mars. Here we're looking at multiple parts or layers again. This piece is about 15 by 15 meters. Up close, you can see two parts to it. Could that be a fine slot cut into it, or is that a ridge line caused by some layering between these two parts? Yeah, we're looking at what I speculate might be another structure or maybe even wreckage. The reason why I say so is because of the straight line coming through there and this long narrow rectangular piece sticking off the one side. So that piece measures about 15 meters across. And also intriguing about it is underneath towards the right it's got this rounded disc shape to it. Okay, let's have a look at the anomalies as found in Google Earth Mars. Let's just switch over to Mars over there and down to the Southern Hemisphere. And if you're wondering what that white line is, I use that to indicate where I found anomalies just to make life a little easier. So these objects are located in that high rise photograph there. And there they are just for summary. And uh, then we also found that little disc and some weird looking artifacts. Check this out. Looks like a piece that's been folded over. A little L-shaped design there and then right in the center of that larger part we've got that oval part there little sphere about one meter in diameter on top of that block. This looks like a, a partial hexagon, We've got one, two, three sides to it. And then a small little sphere or dome on it. So let's zoom out, check out some of the other anomalies. This is from Craft and Structures captured in Thaumacia Fosse on Mars. Look at the design there. Looks almost like a little elliptical craft. Another disc. Two dark spots on it. 
there's another one to so get a little triangle on top of that to get that this looks like uh, some type of wreckage again partial rounded side yeah looks metallic look at the way it's bent down on its edges and that little dome casting that shadow this looks like a piece of a wing but who knows for sure and there another rectangular flat object a little protrusion or knob on it so let's check out here another sphere of about five meters in diameter on that larger piece get that disc over there I don't know if that there is a hole or whether there's a little object casting that shadow look at the way the sand's been pushed up over here to the left as well could that be another crashed craft I really don't know but anyway let's check out these look at this uh, partial circular object with this narrow piece on its center but alignment smaller parts in a triangle on top of this larger triangular base some more odds and ends there's another disc for this little dome on it and check it that slot cut into the one side following a line through the center over there looks artificial to me some more alignment three smaller parts on that one with that U-shape but straight edges and right angles to it smashed up disc with a dome on it that strange shape this looks like a piece of metallic debris or wreckage okay and this is where I found these two small discs this one's about five meters in diameter and this one about eight it looks as if this one's partially parked in this destroyed opening over there also looks metallic in nature and then that disc a little dome on it incredible finds guys and girls now we've got two base structures square base structures these smaller parts on top in their centers of course another wrecked disc with a thing in its center another square object some layering going on there three smaller knobs or protrusions arranged in a triangle very common design feature on Mars with that hole cut into that piece there's another classic UFO shaped object there got the saucer and dome this piece little hole in it right in its center and there's another disc with a dome on it that concludes derelict relics west of Aeonia Mons on Mars hope you found it informative and interesting and uh, do remember you can find all the original images over at my blog link included in the description below just give me a day or two to upload these images and remember if you subscribe just to hit the notifications bell too one of my subscribers and friends informed me that uh, his subscription to my channel suddenly disappeared so just check yours make sure you still subscribe something strange is happening there thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye for now.